What's up, you This is Andy Dwan. I'm here to show you um, a brief summary of what I did during the summer and uh, my reviews about it. Now, first one is El Tigre. Yeah, I played the PlayStation 2 game, huh? Really old fashioned. Now, as you can see, El Tigre was a really good game. It was essentially Super Mario Brothers and then walking around in the 3D universe. Now I can walk a little bit into like a, make a sort of free feel, but it doesn't exactly go there. And um, once in a while, huge enemies pop up behind you, so then it feels more three D and it just fails. The good thing is the levels are insanely easy, and it does challenge your mind a bit. The only glitch I've seen so far is that you can float in one of the levels. Total Recall. If you've seen the 1990 film, Total Recall was a really good reboot, this one, if you haven't seen it yet. I'd really suggest it, but um, Total Recall, the, it has no personality in it, besides that it, like, is really good in the story, but uh, it didn't have any emotional feel in it, so wah wah wah. The Amazing Spider-Man is really good at retelling the original story of Spider-Man, again. And the new characters were pretty good. And no more Green Goblin. Woo! So this is positive. Dark Knight Rises was one of my favorite movies this summer. The Dark Knight Rises was really cool. Had a really great ending for the Dark Knight saga. Really good surprises in it. And the story was well developed. I don't... First time I was there, I had no idea what was going on. Because I was a new guy. Or new... So Hunger Games is really good at adapting to the book and um, had the really cool people in it and um, but it cut out a lot of parts and um, it also cut out a lot of emotion and stuff that I only got when I read the book. Battleship on the other hand did not have a developed story and it was terrible. It just had a special effects scene and no story whatsoever. And the aliens also sucked. What? So uh, they were weak to light, and yeah, you can see how they died. You know, big sunlight everywhere, their helmets are easy to remove. So anyways, you can subscribe to my HC series, also subscribe to my YouTube channel, and suggest in the comments below what I should do for my new Minecraft series.